Hello everybody, this is Hazard here, and thank fucking god, I am back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today, well, I think I'm gonna actually go to the moon. Well, it's been so fucking long, I actually don't remember, because the last time I did an episode was like, what, three months ago, I think? I actually don't know, but, eh, I did something. Uh, seriously, I have no clue, but yeah, it's been forever. I think we made a plane, and I promised to actually go to the moon. So, yeah, I might as well do that promise, but the thing, <laughs> thing is though, I haven't actually been to the moon before. I know how to get there, it's just the fact that I haven't successfully landed before. Because every time I like tried, I always end up slamming into the surface, so I haven't got any proper experience. So this video is going to be quite interesting, but obviously to start anywhere, I need to build the rocket first. So, uh, right, we need a landing pod. As long as I get him to land on the freaking surface, that's good. I'm not too sure about getting him back though, so... Oh, freaking hell. I'm still a little bit ill, unfortunately, but... Yeah. i got Jebediah Kierman, he's going to be now for pilot. I'm not sure about that, but... Yeah. Uh, we need to put a parachute. Parachute. There's a parachute on here somewhere. Utility, isn't it? Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, parachute. On top. So at least he has something to... Play back. Uh, we need some source of power, so we need to put solar panels on. Uh, yeah, pulveratic, pole, 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 press X to put symmetry on. So we'll put two sets on there, just like that. Lovely. We'll also put a um. <coughs> excuse me. We'll also put a um a telecommunications thingy on there. So we'll put one on the back. Because it's not going to be just a single pod. There's, I'm also going to bring science experiments as well, so I can do tests on the moon, which is amazing. Uh, I need to make the landing phase, so... What I need is a decoupler. A small one. This one. So this is basically going to be the stage for when it comes back to Earth. Or Kerbin, in fact. Uh, we need to make the landing stage and also possibly the return stage as well, so... We need to think about this. Uh, it's going to be quite. A, it's going to need to be a big fuel tank. So, nah, it's a bit too big, isn't it? That looks way too big. <laughs> don't say. Don't say what I think you're going to say. It's not. That's what she said. Uh, no. I need a. That's tiny. I need to find a um. Like a really like a really fat one, but it's like oh screw it. Just screw it. I'll just do one of these. Put one of these. Oh, just before I do that, I um need to put a um a um doopy doopy thing. There we go. Some way of actually controlling it and keep best basically a really good way. So uh, we don't need RCS, will we? Not really, because RCS isn't really that necessary, is it? I can't really control the thing by myself anyway. Oh my god, this is kinda this is kinda like annoying. Meh. Right, just think about it. Just think about it, Alex. I need a fuel tank, which is something I need. And also a um an actual fuel tank for the thing itself, so mm, maybe better just to yeah, I might as well just do. I might as well just do that instead. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Eh. There we go. Let's put one of those on there. This thing's going to tip over if I try and land it, which is not going to work. Uh, think about this. No, I don't really need us. Yes, <laughs> I really need to make up my mind on some of these things. Because I've seen many rockets do it like with RCS, some don't, some do. I just don't know which is the best choice, so. Meh. We'll just do it like this. It saves weight as well. I Men, using RCS is the lazy way to do it. And I'm not lazy. I'm so not lazy. Uh, right, we need to add some decouplers. I think what we'll do is to save fuel. We'll go for four of these. We'll do it. 
like that. So what I'll also do is I'll put one of these little, little, li little things on the side, little fuel tanks on the sides. Yes. These aren't going to have any source of propulsion at all. These are just going to be extra fuel tanks. I don't know. And also adds a little bit of stability when it lands as well, so it doesn't tip over on its own weight. So, right, let me just quickly find some freaking landing legs. So, landing struts. There we go. It's these things. Alrighty then. This music's louder than I thought. Hang on, I put these on wrong. Kind of like odd. That's better. Alright, landing legs, on. Let's just see what they're like when they're open. Yeah, that's our lander, bitches. <coughs> that looks pretty sweet. Looks quite fine to me. Uh, right, I need to add the propulsion or the flying rockets things. I don't know. These things, yes. We're going to add two of these. It would be better to add four, but the thing is they waste more fuel. I don't want four. That's better. There we go. Four. That looks so much nicer. Yeah, we can easily fly four. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but never mind. Uh, we need a, a ladder. So when our little caribou makes it on the moon, he can actually get out. So, ladders. Where are they? A ladder is here, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to have four. Jesus Christ. Right, it goes like... No! Okay. A little bit higher. Yeah, something like that. That's better. Yep, that looks pretty fine to me. Shall I lock the suspension? Nah, let's leave it. Uh, I think this is the landers. Oh, no. No, no. I haven't even gotten started yet. I just put all the science experiments on. Uh, well, the important stuff. So what I'll do is I'll put a couple batteries on it, which will go down the back. So we'll put some of those all over it. Uh, we'll add one or two science experiments. So what should we add? Um, we've got to have mystery goo. We've still got to have mystery goo. We just have to. So, um, four of them would be sweet. Uh, I need to put these on right. Uh oh. Meh. <laughs> oh, fuck this. Oh, of course they're going to be all wrong, aren't they? You don't want to screw it. I'm just going to do it something like this. Right, what I'm also going to do is um, add one or two other things, like an antenna, just for the hell of it. I don't know why. Put it. I don't even have anywhere to put it. Fuck, I'll just leave it. Uh, I need to add some structural support as well, so we'll get some of these uh, connector struts and connect them. Ah, oh, fucked it up. Shit. Meh. Let's take that off. Four times four. There we go. So there's one on each side, and they will connect to the the uh, messy s. Uh, oh, oh, oh! One important thing before I actually carry on with the rest of the rocket is a um, is the fuel lines because the fuel is the most important part of the entire mission. So we'll get some fuel ducts, and what will happen? is we'll click on it once, it'll take fuel from these little pods on the outside and it'll put them into the end, the, the thing in the middle, so once these have ran out, this tank will still be full so it's a very efficient way of dealing with fuel, which is very good uh, this looks quite fine to me uh, what we could do is we could quickly take it outside for a test, but yeah, I should actually, but let's name it first we'll name it the I just had an idea. What I might do is for every craft I build, I'm going to name it after an anime character. 
sounds obsessive, but I just don't give a shit. I can do what I want. So this is going to be the Uno Lander. Some of you, be some of you people might know who I'm talking about there. Uh, Mark One, Mark Q not Mark Q, Mark One. Right. This looks quite fine to me, so we'll just quickly take out Jebediah because he's too awesome. Take it out. Um. Shit, I just realised something. We need to. We need, we need to go to um, the astronaut place, so we'll save it. Uh, you know, let's put dump Bill in there, and we'll just go. Let's we'll go like that. We don't really need to go anywhere. Uh, pad as well because I need to do it the best way possible. So this is only testing. It may be crap here, but the fact is that if it's good here, it'll be better on the moon. So, uh, right, the suspension is sort of collapsing a little, which is, means it's one heavy freaking shit, but I don't care, so. Also, it seems to lag when I pull it down like this, I don't know why, so. That's, it's better when it's actually looking downwards, sort of, so I do not know why, but that's just the way it is. Uh, the, leg, the legs are down, I just realised, I think the staging's, I haven't sorted out the staging, which is stupid of me. So, uh. Yeah, we'll just quickly put those down there like that, and we'll throttle up. SES on. Right. Without further ado, three, two, one, lift off! And it's doing quite well, actually. Yeah, it's quite well indeed. We're going straight up. Let's go over here slightly, because I feel like it. Yes, it's doing quite well. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, really laggy as I presumed. But yeah, we're doing quite well. Uh, it's carbon. Uh, laggy. Uh, there we go. Yeah, doing quite. Fuel's doing quite well as well, actually. We actually might be able to do this. Make it there and back. This is some guys. Oh yeah, we still end up with a fuel, a full tank. So that's even better. So the really good thing is that if we can like make it to the moon, if we can make it to the moon with those tanks and lift off again, we should be able to actually make it back to Kerbin with this because it takes like no effort to get from the moon back to Kerbin from what I've seen because it requires so little fuel from its like little tinty pinty gravity so this should be fine. This actually should be fine so we'll revert flight back to the assembly building. Uh, what the hell? My brother's singing downstairs. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Uh, right. Right. Save it. Just sort out this bastardly staging. Right. Uh, wouldn't it be better just to add a couple more science experiments, maybe? Uh, there's a thermometer. Should we put a thermometer on there? Yeah, let's put a thermometer on there just for the hell of it. Well, let's plonk it. Let's put it here. <laughs> let's put it there for the hell of it. The press mat bohometer. Use for measuring local. Okay. I'm not even sure what that does, but never mind. Yep, this looks pretty fine to me. Alright, uh, we'll. Oh, yeah, we'll quickly. Uh, retract the legs. And we'll start building the main stage. So we'll lift this up. Right, we need to build a stage which will hopefully get us out of Earth's. I mean, Kerbin's orbit. And on the way to the moon. So, we need to build that stage. It shouldn't require much, though, so. Uh, I think it'll just be. Should we just stick with this tank, maybe? I don't know. It'll be something like this. It's gonna look like a giant penis, I just noticed. Uh, just ignore it. Just ignore it. Just ignore the possibilities. Ignore the possibilities! Right, this should definitely get us up. Uh, yeah, it should. I just realised we need to add a decoupler. 
Structural. Uh, decoupler. We'll also add a couple of a, um, RCS. Because I found out once that once you have a big ship in ship shit <laughs> ship in orbit in outer space, turning it is one hell of a bitch. So we're gonna have to put RCS on this stage, unfortunately. So it's gonna make it even heavier, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to deal with that part. So control RCS. We'll add four of these on top and bottom. So add four here. And four here. There we go. Uh, we need to add a. We need to add an engine. We need to add a way to be the engine. Uh, son of a bitch. Let's leave that. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be awkward. Let's put it like that. Right, we need a good little rocket. We don't need anything huge like this fucker. No, we need something. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I think this is the best rocket to use anyway, so we'll put that in there. Uh, what I'll also do is add some structural beams uh, here. And we'll go from there. There we go, so the entire thing doesn't wobble around like my grandmother. I can't believe I just said that, but fuck that. Uh, my grandmother's wobbly knees. She shakes like fuck. Nah, I'm, that's just cruel that is. She doesn't shake, she's quite fine. Uh, right, we need to put a decoupler on the engine here. So we'll put it here. And we'll now make the la la launch stage. I love doing this launch stage, it's so fun. It means big rockets. Lots and lots of big rockets. Uh, we need a huge ass fucking stage down here, so... Big, big rocket. Jumbos! You jumbo fuckers. We need to make this taller. It's gonna be one tall ass rocket, I just noticed that. Uh trying to think what else do I need? No, I don't need that. Let's put one of these here. Alright, um this will be the main launch stage, which will require Who just flop a doppler right there? No. We use the skipper. Because this is going because the skipper has um I think it's called a turning vector, so it can still be turned whilst it's in like full throttle, so it doesn't go out of control like this bad boy does. So what I'll do is I use these for the main launch stage. So let's quickly do that. Uh, we need a decoupler. We'll do these um, radio ones. Uh, we don't need four, we only need like two, I'm pretty sure. So put two, put one here. And the one on the other side like that. Propulsion. Get these huge jumbos. Uh, should I do it really tall? Yep. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Let's bring these down a little. Let's bring these mubba blubbers down. About here, maybe. Yep, perfect. That's pretty sweet. Uh, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, there we go. Let's have a look at this bad boy. It looks like a penis. Sort of. <laughs> I've no clue. I'm really demented. All right, uh, we need a um, the main sails. We'll add two of these fuckers. Yeah, these things will certainly get us somewhere. We need um, aerodynamic stuff, so we'll put a. Um, we need a these actually so we'll put no we need these ones so we'll add a, a couple of these so one here and one here oh I like this music sweet I just realized there's gonna be so many stages on this and it's only gonna be to the moon Ugh. right uh Aerodynamic, we need to put a nose cone on this thing. I might just go uh, even a bit further and just add some boosters on the hell of it. So, no! Fuck! Why did I just do that? I'm a freaking idiot. Let's go down. I'm one huge freaking flubby dubby tit. 
Uh, all right. Uh, radio decouplers, put them back down here. Propulsion, giant boost, deep boost, deep boobs. Uh, there. There we go. Now we need um, these big ones. Right. Uh, I need some of those boosters again, so... Put some of these here. Yeah. Uh, this isn't going to go well, is it? Other things is not going to go well. So, yeah, I have competence. We'll add um, the same. We should just done this, shouldn't we? But never mind. We'll add, we'll add these a little bit lower because they're smaller. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yes, this would so work. Right. Add some nose cones just for hell of it. I know they don't really affect much, but what the hell. Look at this big majestic thing. So amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is my moon rocket. Okay. Right, we need to add all the structural things, so let's quickly add all the things to make it slightly more rigid. So let's do this, like that. Uh, we need to get a little bit in there because, as like before, we need the fuel lines. So let's quickly grab some fuel lines from the outside boosters to be in once. Like that. Sweet. So obviously when these decoupled this tank will be full still, so that's fair. That's good. Uh we need to add some more struts. Some more freaking struts. So uh, we'll do this. Some more of them. Some more stability, sweet. Uh we need to do something about this long nose cone bit here, so we'll put some of this up here. Well done, Alex. Just well done. Yeah, that should, should, that should certainly be okay. Let's put one more here, just for hell of it. Because this rocket's going to need all the strength. I have no clue this will actually work. And I'm not even sure how long I've been recording now, because this has been taking forever. I should have like pre-built the rocket before, but I guess that's too late now. Uh, right, I think we're just about done here. Oh no, we are. Well, no, we ain't. We gotta do the the takeoff launching things. There we go. Gotta put these on here. Bloop. And bloop. There we go. Right, let's think about this. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's just sort out the stage here. Uh, right, what will happen is we'll take... This is the... The, um... The, um... Launch stave ability enhancer. <laughs> I have no clue. So basically what will happen is all these rockets will go off... Put the down here. All these rockets will go off at once at full power, and once that's done, I'll clip the space again, which will release all this. So it'll, be, it'll basically be like the handbrake, at the start line for a race car, or something like that. I have no clue. So basically, this will go off really high, and what will happen is that these, these, um, the boosters will come off first, which is, I need to get this right. Is it this one? Yeah, it's these ones. I need to get this right. It's, um, that one, yeah. So the boosters will come off. And it'll still be going really quickly. And then the side ones on the side will come off. Once those are run out, this section will carry on carrying this up through the upper atmosphere. And that. And once and once that's all run out, this will carry the rest of the stages into orbit and then possibly to the moon. 
if it comes desperate, if it comes to desperate measures, this lander itself will should have enough fuel to get to the moon, land, and then get back, hopefully. Because I haven't actually successfully landed yet, so I have not got the experience for that. So, so probably next episode, possibly, it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, let me just quickly look at this again. Uh, we need to give our own separate stages, so... Right, I'll see out decouple. All those will go. Bloop. Uh, yeah, I think this should be alright. Uh, yeah, it looks all fine to me. Alright, save it. And I think we'll leave it there, guys. There's our rocket. Now, tune into next episode to see this thing make it to the moon. Well, or crash into a horrible blazing pit of fire, I have no clue. But yeah, anyway, guys, um, if you like the video, please um, like it, and also subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any ideas for videos, please put them in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, thank you. Bye.